Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about uh, an initiative that um, I've been involved in which is um, going to happen in a couple of months. And this is something called a rare disease patient listening session, which is a program um, uh, conducted by the Food and Drug Administration, which is the government agency in the United States which regulates uh, uh, the uh, development and approval of uh, drugs and medical treatments. So um, what this is, is um, uh, the particular one that we're going to have is going to be on limb girdle muscular dystrophies. Um, for which there are several uh, different treatments currently in clinical trials and several more planned for clinical trials uh, in the near future. And uh, basically the point of this is to uh, tell the FDA um, what the patient perspective is on uh, treatments and uh, what these diseases are like, you know, from the patient perspective. Uh, so the criteria for approving a new drug is that it has to be, you know, reasonably safe, uh, won't cause harm to people. It has to be reasonably effective. It will, you know, produce a, per, a benefit in uh, the person's health and life. Um, and, you know, also there's some technical criteria about that it has to be, um, you know, able to be manufactured in a consistent way so that people, you know, know what they're getting when they take the drug after it's approved. Okay, but um, safety and effectiveness are both kind of value judgments. So, um, you know, unfortunately, no drug is perfectly safe, nor is every drug, you know, perfectly effective. So um, it's important for um, the regulators to understand, you know, from the perspective of the people who actually have the disease and will be taking the drugs, um, okay, what is their life like, you know, due to having this disease? Uh, what would they consider a meaningful, you know, benefit uh, which a prospective treatment might provide, you know, that, you know, they would, you know, have an improved quality of life. And, you know, what would they consider a reasonable, you know, risk, you know, of, um, you know, potential harm or side effects of the drug, you know, that, you know, it, you know, what degree of risk would still be acceptable, you know, meaning that they would still be willing to take the drug in spite of the risks. Um, you know, and, you know, also what is their life due to this disease? Um, you know, if there are any current, current treatments, you know, how effective are they? You know, what is the, um, you know, the term is the unmet medical need. Now, for limb girdle muscular dystrophies, there aren't any current treatments at all. So, in some sense, that's actually a very easy uh, question to answer. But, um, you know, the regulators don't necessarily know a lot about, you know, these particular diseases from the patient's perspective. So, you know, what uh, this uh, program is intended to do and what we're trying to um, educate um, the FDA on from our perspective is, you know, what is it like to live with these diseases? Um, what are we looking for in a treatment? Um, what would we consider an appropriate level of safety? So I um, actually did a podcast on this uh, on the, you know, podcast channel of a friend of mine uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll uh, post a link to that in uh, the just video description below. Uh, but this is kind of a very exciting thing. It's uh, involving uh, a large number of people 
because for limb girdle muscular dystrophy, there's a number of different genetic subtypes. So we wanted uh, a variety of people of you know different um, ages, genders, um, ethnic backgrounds, um, you know, t and also um, genetic forms of LGMD to you know show the diversity of our community and. Um, you know, the diversity of this disease area. Uh, one thing that people don't al always realize is that limb girdle muscular dystrophy isn't a single disease. There's something like 30 different genetic forms. So we wanted, um, you know, a number of different people with different forms to, you know, uh, let, let them know, okay, just because there's a treatment for one particular form doesn't mean that there's uh, treatments for all of the others. So many treatments, you know, particularly gene therapies, will only work for one or at most uh, a few particular forms. So you know that's an important uh, piece of information for the regulators to, you know, you know, have uh, in the back of their minds as they, you know, uh, analyze. Uh, potential drugs and evaluate them. So anyway, it's, um, it's a lot of work. I'm, you know, uh, working with others to put this all together now, but uh, it's very exciting and, um, you know, hope it will go well. So uh, anyway, I will talk to you soon.